Please check out Ray Mac's Kitchen and Grill on YouTube and subscribe now. Ray Mac, what are we cooking up for dinner today? The best pan-fried sausage and cabbage recipe. We're going to start out by taking one whole cabbage and we want to wash it and we're going to remove the core and we're also going to slice it. But I'm going to show you two different ways how you could really slice your cabbage up. All right. And I want you guys to do me a favor. If you don't mind, please remember to subscribe after you watch this here video or you can even subscribe right now. So as you can see, it was easy to remove the core. And I just want to show you two ways. One way is you could thin slice it like I'm doing right now. And the second way what you could do is you could do what we call a rough chop. And the rough chop is just a, I'm sorry, a rough slice is just you slicing them kind of thick and large. And this is what we've got right here. So now we're going to take our cabbage. Once we got it um, cut and sliced, we want to just remove these to the side. Our next step that we're going to do, we got some Polish kielbasa sausage. You could use whatever kind of sausage you want, whether it's pork, beef, or even chicken. All right. And we want to go ahead and cut these up in slices as well. So I'm doing a diagonal, diagonal, this is a tongue twister, y'all, diagonal cut on the first links. And then I'm going to just cut the um, other half of that link into quarters. Now, you could definitely see the two shapes that's going to take place right here. And I'm going to show you. This is the diagonal cut. And this is the quarter cut. You can slice them up however you want, okay? Now, the next thing that I'm going to do with these is set these to the side. And I got me some um, bacon that I want to also um, add to this here recipe. This is some regular bacon. You can use whatever type of flavored bacon you like. Just go ahead and grab you a stack of bacon, slap it on your cutting board, and just go ahead and um, chop these babies up. Now, if you freeze your bacon, it'll be easier to cut. But I'm going to use a cast iron. Um, Dutch pot for this okay and I got my pot seasoned well but I'm going to turn the heat on um, medium high heat and with my cast iron um, pot which is seasoned to the max I'm going to take our sliced sausages and just brown them first all right and then we're going to go to the next step don't go nowhere or you might miss this video So the only thing we wanted to do to our smoked sausage was basically just brown them up, put a little crisp on them, and once that's done, we're gonna move them to the side and we're gonna start with our bacon. Now, with your bacon, you have a choice of how you want to really cook your bacon up. I like mine on pretty much not the total crispy side, but just to have a little crunch to it. So this is how I'm gonna cook up my bacon. So just check it out. You better not go nowhere. Stick around. Now our bacon is done and we want to go ahead and set this to the side. Now what we're going to do now is just take our cabbage. We're not going to wash that, that pot out. No sir, no ma'am. We're going to take our cabbage, add it to the pot, and we want to add all of the cabbage to it. Now you got to have a pot big enough that's going to hold that cabbage, okay? First and foremost. So let's go ahead and add the cabbage. Now it's time to go ahead and add in some of our ingredients. So I have some garlic powder and you can see this, my, my top was open so I did spill some of it. But I'm adding at least a half a tablespoon of this garlic powder. And I also have some onion powder and I'm using the same measurements for this as well, a half a tablespoon of this here powder. Now the next thing I'm gonna toss in is some black pepper. 
and I want you to use, guess what? I have a tablespoon of the black, pe um, black pepper, okay? Now I want you to mix everything together. Work the bottom to the top. Get some of your cabbage that was sitting at the bottom, work it to the top. Now I want you to go ahead and take you some sugar. Now here, I want you to use your judgment because everybody taste isn't the same. I want you to go until your ancestors say stop, all right? So just use a little sugar. I like sugar in my cabbage, y'all. How many of y'all like sugar in your cabbage? Comment below and tell me if you are a sugar freak who likes sugar in your cabbage, all right? So one thing that I'm gonna add to this again, I'm gonna take some of this here, um, red pepper flakes, and I just want to sprinkle some red pepper flakes in here. That'll give me a nice little spice to it and mix everything. And if you would like, you could take at least a little bit of water a little bit because I want you to remember that the cabbage is also going to make some water as well and I'm not going to cover this I want you to cook this on top of the stove for at least around about 10 minutes and after that continue to stir constantly constantly all right now once we've got that done I want you to take your sausage and your bacon add your sausage and your bacon um, to your cabbage allow it to cook for at least around about another five minutes or so or however tender you like your cabbage if you like your cabbage to have a little bite to it you go ahead and cook it until it got a bite to it now if you like your cabbage all soggy to death then shame on you you eat your cabbage till it's soggy to death but this is a good recipe y'all you'll definitely love it so enjoy but don't go nowhere Now you could definitely have this cabbage recipe all by itself. You don't need no other protein with it, okay? But I decided to cook me up some oven baked turkey legs. And I'm telling you right now, these oven baked turkey legs were phenomenal. I really enjoyed snacking down on these babies along with the best pan fried cabbage and sausage recipe there is. I might be exaggerating about being the best, but it was hella fire good. All right. So if you guys please, man, want to try something that's brand that's that's not new, but at the same token, that's packed with flavor and people will enjoy it. Please try the best pan fried cabbage and sausage recipe that you see here. I want to thank you so much for watching Ray Max Kitchen and Grill. If you could, please watch these videos. Also subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know exactly what you would like to see in the future. Love and not hate. Love somebody and hate nobody. I love you guys. Peace.